Mindigo Hill, part of Russian Ridge Open Space Preserve, is managed by the Mid Peninsula Regional Open Space District, also known as MidPen. The peak rises 2,143 feet above sea level, offers stunning panoramas of the surrounding coastal landscape, rolling hillsides, and on clear days, views of the Pacific Ocean. My name is Clayton Copeman, and I am the rangeland ecologist for the Mid Peninsula Regional Open Space District. We're here on Mindigo Hill today, and uh, we introduced livestock grazing here uh, about two months ago, so the end of uh, 2015. Think of the cows as just great big four-legged lawn mowers that run around out here and, and clip down the grass. And what that does is promotes the growth of vegetation that we want to see out here, such as native bunch grasses or wildflowers. There are a variety of ways Midpen uses conservation grazing. One, to maintain and enhance native biodiversity. Two, grazing is an effective way to reduce wildland to fire fuels. It helps to reduce the fire fuel load to reduce the, the potential risk of, of catastrophic wildfires. Cattle eat dry vegetation across many acres, often on steep terrain, which may be inaccessible to other treatment options. Three. And the cattle grazing also enhances habitat for special status wildlife species on the property, such as the San Francisco garter snake and the California red-legged frog. Stock ponds originally constructed for livestock watering are managed to provide habitat for rare aquatic species. Four preserve the region's agricultural heritage and economy. Through its Coastal Protection Area Service Plan, MidPen is committed to protecting our coastal watershed and agricultural lands and preserving the rural character of the region. Visiting a preserve with livestock grazing on it's gonna be a different user experience than visiting a park or a preserve without grazing. You may encounter livestock on the trail. Cattle are large animals and they can be intimidating. Um, the cattle that are on our preserves tend to be extremely docile and tame and are, are used to being around people. So just let them move off the trail on their own or walk around them uh, and you'll be fine. Cattle are large animals and can be intimidating, but they are not aggressive by nature. However, in rare circumstances, they will defend themselves if they feel threatened or cornered. So use common sense when hiking among cattle and remember the following safety tips. Watch your step. You may encounter manure along the way, and during the rainy winter months, roads and trails can be muddy. If cattle are blocking the trail, approach them slowly, speak normally, and allow them to move away. Never try to walk through the herd, but choose a path that takes you around them. Cattle are protective of their young, so avoid getting between a calf and its mother. If you see a stray calf, don't try to rescue it. The mother may be off eating or drinking and will return to the baby. As tempting as it may be, don't touch or try to pet cattle. Keep pedestrian gates closed and leave larger vehicle gates as you find them, open or closed. Vehicle gates will normally be left open when cattle are moving between pastures. Please report sick, injured, or potentially aggressive animals to mid-pen staff. Do not attempt to assist the animal. And remember that dogs are not allowed in Russian Ridge Open Space Preserve, so please leave your furry friends at home. Cows perceive dogs as predators and may become startled or defensive. There's a number of multi-generational ranching families that have been on the San Mateo coast here for you know several hundred years and continue to, to run livestock and continue to farm and it's uh, important for the district um, to provide an opportunity for them to continue that and to, and to pass that tradition and that heritage down to the next generation. We want all our visitors to enjoy their time out on the preserves and hiking alongside cows can definitely be a majestic experience. By better understanding basic cattle behavior, visitors can better predict how grazing animals are likely to act, and that can help make your outing safer and more enjoyable. For more information about the district's conservation grazing program, visit our website at www.openspace.org.